Hello, this is Miss Augustine, and we're going to talk about dimensional analysis today. So for starters, what is dimensional analysis? It's a way that scientists use to analyze and solve problems using the units or dimensions uh, of the measurements. So dimensional analysis requires the use of something we call conversion factors, and these are ratios of equivalent measurements that we use to solve these dimensional analysis problems. So problem solving involves a three-step method called the ACE method where A is analyze, C is calculate, and E is evaluate. So to analyze you need to read the problem carefully and determine what is given and what is unknown. In analyzing you're going to find out what the problem is asking you. You're going to write down information that will help you to solve the problem, such as units and sometimes variables. And then you're going to plan a solution. Break down the problem into simpler problems and figure out if there's an equation or conversion fact or facts that will allow you to solve it. Then you can go and calculate. You're going to make your calculations, which may include plugging into an equation or setting up conversion facts, and then check the units to make sure that they are correct. You also want to set up each conversion so that with your conversion factor, the unit that you want is in the numerator on top, and the unit you're getting rid of is in the denominator or on the bottom. The conversion factor should look like this, unit you want on top, unit you're getting rid of on the bottom. Then you evaluate, you check your answer, you ask yourself does it make sense, is it reasonable for this particular problem, are the units correct, and does the answer have the correct number of significant figures. So I thought we'd start with some sample problems. Problem 1, how many days are there in 6.0 weeks. How many days is the unknown and the six weeks is the given. Analyze. Figure out what relationships you have to know in order to convert from the one unit to the next. In this case one week is equal to seven days. And then we're going to start with our given and work toward what we're looking for. And our given remember was 6.0 weeks and the unknown was how many days. Now we're going to calculate. So we're going to start with the given. We're going to multiply by our conversion fact. Seven days is equal to one week. So again, this is our conversion fact and the top and bottom must be equal in value. Now we're ready to calculate, so let's put our conversion fact back in. We have to cancel units first to make sure that we're left with the correct units. So in this case, weeks divided by weeks cancels out. We're left with days. Now we can calculate by multiplying across the top. And we end up with 42 days, which coincidentally has two significant digits, which matches the two sig figs that were in our given. So sample problem two asks how many meters are in two kilometers. The given is two kilometers. The unknown is how many meters is that equivalent to. Analyze. Figure out what relationships you have to know in order to convert from kilometers to meters. And our conversion factor in this case is that one kilometer is a thousand meters. So now we're ready to set it up, starting with the given, multiplying by our conversion fact. So we're ready to calculate, first cancel the units, then we're going to have to round our answer to one significant figure and check the answer. So kilometers divided by kilometers goes away, it equals 1. Plug it into our calculator and we get 2,000 meters. And 2,000 meters has one significant figure, as did our given. Sample problem three. Water has a density of 1.00 grams per milliliter. What is this density 
uh, expressed in pounds per quart. So we're going from density in grams per mils to pounds per quart. So the given and the unknown. Analyze the conversion factors we're going to need. One pound is equivalent to 454 grams. You can look that up, but I'm giving it to you. One quart is 0.946 liters. Again, you can look that up, but I'm giving it to you. And one liter is 1,000 milliliters. You can look it up, but I'm giving it to you. Now for the setup. So here you'll see I started with the given, and I went from grams to pounds using our conversion from grams to pounds, and then I went from milliliters to liters, and then from liters to quarts. So calculate, cancel units, and rounding. So in this case, grams divided by grams equals 1, and it goes away. And then milliliters divided by milliliters equals 1, it goes away. And liters divided by liters equals 1, it goes away. This one was a little tricky because we were dealing with unit changes in both the numerator and the denominator. But notice that we ended up with pounds in the numerator and quarts in the denominator, which was what we wanted. Now we can multiply across the top and divide by the denominator, and we end up with 2.08 pounds per quart. And this number has three significant figures, as did our given. Sample problem four, how many millimeters are in 2.2 kilometers? Our given is 2.2 kilometers. The unknown is how many millimeters? We're going to analyze what are our conversion factors. We know that a kilometer or kilometer is a thousand meters. A meter is a thousand millimeters. Now we're ready to set up. Again, here, we've started with our given. We're going to go from kilometers to meters. Here's our fact for that. And then we're going to go from meters to millimeters, and that's our conversion fact. So calculate, cancel units, and then round to two significant figures. So kilometers divided by kilometers goes away, it equals 1. Meters divided by meters goes away, it equals 1. And we're left with our answer when we plug it in, which comes out to 2,200,000 millimeters. And notice that the unit that we were left with is millimeters, which was what we were solving for. So in this case, 2.2 kilometers is the same as 2,200,000 millimeters. I hope this helped with problem solving. I'm recording another problem solving tutorial with more dimensional analysis practice, and that'll be posted on my YouTube channel as well. This is Miss Augustine signing off until next time.